everybody and welcome to another fantastic episode of Shell and Tell. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Ocean School. Ocean School is a free educational resource available online in French and English. It's a partnership between the Dalhousie University, the Ocean Frontier Institute, and the National Film Board of Canada. My name is Lucia and I am a volunteer with Back to the Sea Society and I work for Ocean School. I have loved the other Shell and Tell so far. We have learned so much about periwinkles and moon snails, about sea urchins, even about squid. But today, I'm going to be talking about fish. Now, I'm not going to be talking about any type of fish. I'm going to be talking about a really specific type of fish. I'm going to give you some hints to see if you can figure out what fish I'm going to be talking about. Now, first off, this type of fish comes in a whole bunch of different types of sizes. They can be as small as my hand, or even as big as a school bus. That's really big. And that actually makes it the biggest fish in the ocean. Now these types of fish have been around for a really, really long time. They were living in the ocean way before the dinosaurs and now way after the dinosaurs. Do you know what fish I'm talking about yet? I'll give you one more clue. These fish have no bones in their bodies. None at all. They actually have a skeleton made out of something called cartilage and it's what we have in our nose and in our ears. Now give your ears a wiggle and give your nose a wiggle and you can feel how soft and flexible that cartilage is. Unlike the bones that we have in our arms or the rest of our skeleton, pretty stiff. Have you been able to guess what animal we're going to talk about? Well, if you guessed sharks, then you'd be right. We're going to be talking about sharks today. And sharks are pretty amazing. There's actually over 400 types of sharks living in the ocean today. There's even some here off the coast of Nova Scotia. Now, one of those sharks that you'll find off the coast of Nova Scotia is the blue shark. Now, the blue shark gets his name because, well, it's blue. But it's not this blue. It's actually a bit darker and it has this white belly. And the reason it's colored like this is because it actually helps them camouflage. So these guys will be swimming along and they'll be able to hide in the water so that their predators can't see them or they can then catch their fish that they want to eat. Now these blue sharks also have really special bodies. They are pretty pointy at the top and they're really smooth all the way to the end to their pointy tail. This actually helps them swim really fast and makes them really great hunters to be able to chase after a little fish because they can whoosh, swoop through the water really quickly. Now we can't open this shark's mouth, but inside sharks can have, or blue sharks can have up to five rows of teeth. How many rows of teeth do we have? Let's see, we go, ah, uh, ah, uh, I heck, I heck we just have the one row of teeth. Sharks have to have really big mouths to be able to eat all their fish. Now the reason sharks have this many rows of teeth is because their teeth fall out all the time. And it's not because they don't go to the dentist or brush their teeth, which you should be doing. It's because it's what makes them really good hunters. So having all those rows of teeth actually makes sure that they always have sharp teeth ready to catch their prey. So think of a shark mouth as a big tooth factory. So you have little teeth all the way in the back, big teeth in the front. And as those big teeth start falling out, rows of teeth start moving up and fresh teeth are standing there. Those little teeth start growing, keep moving forward, and the process continues and continues and continues their whole life. Sharks can actually lose up to 100 teeth in a day. Think about how much money they could have from the tooth fairy. They'd be rich. Now, because sharks are able to lose so many teeth, you can be sometimes really lucky to find shark teeth on the beach. Unfortunately, I've never been that lucky. I've never found any shark teeth on the beach. But I did work at an aquarium once, and in that aquarium we had sharks. And just like in the ocean, those shark teeth would fall out, and the divers that would go in and feed the animals and clean the tanks, they would actually collect all those shark teeth. And I was lucky enough for those divers to give me a shark tooth from the aquarium. Now here I have a shark tooth of a sand tiger shark. Now sand tiger sharks aren't commonly found in Canada. 
there's actually only been three recorded sightings of a sand tiger in Atlantic Canada. They like to be in a bit warmer waters where there's a lot of reefs and fish for them to eat. Now the reason they have these pointy teeth is because they like to eat small fish. So if you want to be able to catch small fish, you have to be able to have pointy teeth and chomp down on them really, really fast. And unlike the blue shark, which we know is pretty fast, these guys are actually known as being sluggish. So that means they move kind of slowly. And even though they look really intimidating with a lot of teeth pointing out of them, coming out of their mouths, they're actually not. They're pretty chill sharks. Now, I have one more shark tooth to show you today. Now, this shark tooth is really special because it's from a shark that is extinct. It hasn't been living in our oceans for over 2.6 million years. That's a really long time. This is the shark tooth of a megalodon. Now, megalodon sharks were the biggest sharks that ever lived on our planet. They're about the size of two great white sharks stuck together. That's really, really big. And because they were so big, they had these big teeth to help them be able to eat really big prey, like whales. So these guys roamed around our oceans, hunting whales and catching them. And even though this shark tooth is really big, especially compared to our little sand tiger shark tooth, we can see that there's quite a difference there. This is actually a small megalodon tooth. Megalodons were so big that their teeth would be about the size of my hand. So we can see that this is much smaller than that. Now, like I said, the megalodon doesn't live in our oceans anymore. So we're not gonna find any big sharks like that roaming around the oceans. But we do have a really big fish that still lives in our ocean that is a shark. And that is the whale shark, this guy right here. Now the whale sharks also have a really big mouth, which actually makes them really great filter feeders. That means they catch tiny little fish, tiny little shrimp and plankton in their mouths, are able to gobble it all down. Now one thing to note about shark teeth is that they were never designed to catch humans. People tend to be scared of sharks because they do have these pointy teeth or these really big teeth and look kind of scary in the water. But they are actually only hunting for fish and squid and other types of animals that live in the ocean. The thing that we should be scared of is that we don't have that many sharks left in the ocean anymore. And that's because people like to hunt sharks, whether on purpose or accidentally. Now, the one thing that you can do to help our shark friends is to tell your friends and family all about the cool things you learned about sharks today. And together we can all love the sharks and come together and help protect them. I hope you had fun learning about sharks and we'll see you at the next Shell and Tell. Bye.